we're gonna get like an email tomorrow morning. Get like from practice. Get like, you shut down. So uh, here's gonna be an FNAM shutdown for like 21 days. <laughs> Still, wait, that. we still get grades, right? <laughs> <laughs> she got all offended when I dropped her class. Yeah. Oops. Yeah. Oh yeah, we're a freshman here. I dropped journalism, and she and she messaged me saying, "Why did I do this?" Like, you Good morning, Ephrata. I'm Ed Sheeran, and I'm Ron Weasley. Today is Thursday, February twenty-second. Please rise for a moment of silence and a pledge. Oh, oh, oh hold on. How, how am I? How are we? We're not ginger, and I'm not even. I'm not even white. Just, just go to go to black. Go to black. What was that? <laughs> I didn't understand that. Because they're both like uh, pale, really red heads. Yeah. So we're both. I'm we're not red heads, but he's also not white, so it doesn't work. Oh. It's a little. It's a little play on race. Comments. <laughs> <laughs> Attention students going to the trip to see the Terracotta Warriors. Meet in the high school lobby after homeroom, homeroom is over. Bring your packed lunch and get ready for a fun day. To the Mount Roddix team. On Monday they traveled to Forest Hills High School and competed against 23 other teams after the play-in round. The two Mountaineers were ranked third and fifth. They teamed up in the championship rounds and made it all the way to the finals, where they lost two to one. Both teams are now qualified for the state championships that will take place on March third. Attention, all first semester Wood Tech students! If you have not yet picked up your side table from the Wood Lab, please make sure to do so. Thank you. Yesterday, several brave freshmen competed in the Agricultural Department's FFA Creed contest. After several long weeks of memorizing the creed and practicing their responses to questions about the meaning of the creed, they finally got to strut their stuff in front of a panel of four judges from the local community. The results were as follows. In fourth place, Tori Murky. In third place, Joshua Potts. In second place, Madison Stewart. And finally, in first place, Emma Gray. Congrats to all participants. <laughs> Emma will receive, will receive a $50 will receive $50 or an FFA jacket for her first place finish. All of, our creed, all of our creed speakers, in addition to the junior prepared speaker, Peyton Miller, conversation speaker, Ashlyn Taylor, extemporaneous word, whatever, speaker Clara Bonger, will be, contenting, will be competing on the county level next Friday. If you see them in the hallway, wish them good luck. How do, you, how do we do without American colors? Now our AG trivia of the day. Did you know the U.S. Farm Program typically costs each American just pennies per meal and account for less than one half of one percent of the total U.S. budget? Don't forget to wear boots and flannels tomorrow. Now over to Nathan with the news. <laughs> According to reports from various media outlets, Mike Pence was to meet secretly with a group of high-level North Korean officials during the 2018 Winter Olympics in Pyeongchang, South Korea. The meeting never occurred, though, as the North Koreans canceled at the last minute without explanation. It is unknown what the meeting regarded. While many believe that the North Koreans' presence in Pyeongchang could be a sign of thawing Korean relations, many also believe the North Koreans possess ulterior motives for attending and might be taking the opportunity to spy on other delegations in the city. On this day in 1980, the American Olympic ice hockey team pulled off what many call the miracle on ice. During the last few years of the Cold War, America found itself competing against the Soviet Union in ice hockey, a sport that the Soviets had not lost a single game in since 1964. The U.S. team was seeded seventh and was made primarily of college students, while the Soviet Union plowed through the tournament undefeated. However, when the time came for the two teams to face each other, America pulled ahead with a 4-3 victory and won the gold medal for themselves. This was an important victory as it translated into a bigger win overall towards the Cold War. Also, it's George Washington's birthday. What a babe. Now over to Seth with the lunch. Yeah. Did you check it out? I mean, the uh, fishbowl, I mean. Uh, fishbowl? I don't know. Did we? I don't know about that. Probably not. Let's get Jordan the credits.
speaking. Yeah. Now I'm trying to. <clears throat> there will be a girls lacrosse mandatory parent player meeting on Wednesday, February 28th. Today in sports, come out and support the boys basketball team in the playoffs. At home tonight at 7 versus Northern York. Now back to the main desk. Attention Ski and Snowboard Club. Due to the terrible weather, we won't be skiing or boarding on Bear Creek tonight. It looks like the season's over. <laughs> up, for an, up for an adventure? Willing to try something you've never done before? Go on a blind date with a book this February. The entire month there will be books covered with some topics, genre, and minimal information on the outside. Available for checkout. For each blind date you check out, you will be entered for to win a free drink at the Media Center. Fall in love with a good book. Attention juniors, Millersville University will be hosting a college fair on Thursday, March 15th. This fair attracts approximately 150 different colleges, universities, and trade school representatives. This is a great opportunity for 11th graders to interact with and learn about different colleges. The itinerary includes attending the college fair, having lunch in the Millersville dining hall, and taking a campus tour. If you are interested in attending, please fill out a field trip permission packet from Schoology. Space is limited, so don't delay. Many thon, many thon, many thon. Listen carefully. Registra registrations will still be taken until the day of many thon, <coughs> March 3rd. However, in order to be guaranteed a t-shirt, you must register by 3 o'clock today. You need to do the online registration and turn in the parent permission slip with your money. Any questions, contact Mr. Martin or Mrs. Sosie. Come have fun while raising money for childhood cancer. Don't forget to look for the many tractors the FFA has placed around the school. If you find one of the hidden tractors, take it to room 360 and get a $5 gift card. This year we are giving away gift cards to Wawa, Dunkin' Donuts, Fox Meadows, and Subway. If you're not, if you're not a part of FFA, you can still participate. Good luck. Have a good day. I have a Bruno Mars Yeah. Day. Or babe. Yeah. Now I saw George Washington. What? <laughs> Still the big space. That was an epic brownie face. That was. See, that was. I was. Mr. Bishop, sorry about that scene in the chair at the very end. I forgot.